Yo, what is good, Price Fam? Happy New Year, y'all. It's 2021. Um, I really don't got too much to say about 2020. Honestly, I, there's so many things I would want to say, but there's really not. 2020 was the worst year. Um, for me, anyway, I, I got some things done. I didn't get everything I done, um, done in 2020. I'm just now coloring my first comic book. You guys probably know I've been talking about that for a long time. That's the front and back of page two and three. Um, or four, three and four. Um, I'm working on six and seven. Uh, five and six, I mean. Five and six. <laughs> I got a lot of pages to go. I got 21 for a whole book. 22 counting the back. So I got a lot to go. Um, I'm on a new diet, which is me, which means I'm drinking tea and trying to drink less caffeine, you know, such as soda. I've been drinking a lot of soda and a lot of honey buns and all that. If you guys can't tell, my face is puffier than it was. It's like you know, out, and I got a gut, but. I just did a full body workout this morning and I took a cold shower, which Nelly Chopper is not lying that it really does help you feel and also it helps you feel better. It's good for your immune system. But another thing, which is why my legs was hurting so much, I didn't take a cold shower. So when my body, my body was aching. It's because I didn't take a cold shower afterwards. I just went to go do whatever else. I was supposed to take a cold shower. When you take a cold shower, the pain numbs with the cold shower, which hints why when I move my legs around now, it don't hurt as bad. Now they shake a little bit because, you know, I was doing a full body workout with my legs, but they don't hurt as much. So that's kudos to me. I just found that out. That's probably not the new. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys and update you on that. Um, but if you're wondering what video we're going to do today, today we're doing some, something new, something different. Uh, we're not reacting to, um, well, we are reacting today, but I don't know what I'm, I fit, I try to figure what we're going to react to on this channel, you know, um, because there's so many things we can and can't react to and um, if I react to you know I'm trying to think there's so many things we can and can't react to um, I tweeted I do have Twitter I'm not gonna put it in my in the description because I, I really don't use it all the time so I check in here and there but I don't really be using it. Um, but I do got Instagram. So if you guys follow me on there, that really helps. I'm at 104 followers. So that's telling something. That's saying something. Came a long way. Um, but I'm trying to think what we could react to. I literally had it in my mind. And then I forgot about it. Um, I know somebody. I may get views, I may not get views for it, but we're gonna go. We're going to watch this guy. Now, he's funny sometimes, sometimes he's not, but I find him funny. I think everybody laughs at his videos, I think. Let's uh, see what happens. Or. What do y'all think? So, there's this guy. Um, he eats a lot of food. And, you know, I said I'm trying to, you know, lose weight and stuff. As he's talking for that. This guy eats a whole bunch of food, but still looks like he's fit like Thor, the God of Thunder. Now, 
excluding in game, before in game, <laughs> before in game. That's what I mean. He looks like he has been in the gym for more than one year and looks amazing. Pause. So we could either watch Matt Stone today. Watch him tomorrow. Now I'm trying to think tomorrow. I have school and I gotta do paperwork for the job I'm getting. Um, so I think we're gonna probably do Matt Stoney Tuesday or Wednesday. And today I think we're gonna watch Derek Gerard. So I don't know if people watch Derek Gerard anymore, but we're gonna watch. Him so we're gonna watch Derek Gerard. Uh, I'm gonna find a challenge. Um, sometimes I watch his videos on my downtime uh, because he's very funny. <laughs> to be honest, he's very funny. So um, let's find a good one. Let's find a good one. Uh, huh. So this is the video. Letting foods literal names decide what you eat for 24 hours. Food challenge. Okay. What is up? It is Derek here, and today we hit 2,002 2 million subscribers. Oh. <laughs> you guys cannot see that, and that's very loud. But you guys cannot see that. Also, sorry for about the harsh lighting. I can't control Mother Nature. It's I got to get new blinds or some curtains because my blinds are not cutting it. They literally, somebody broke my blind, which was my sister, and now I have this big beam of light that's on my face. Like, you see, look, this is what you, this is what you guys see. I'm not glowing because I don't have powers. Like, my character in my comic book, it's the sun. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, what a day today is. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this. Derek Gerard. How did I scream like that for entire video? I decided we should do something big, something huge, something epic, like eating a cupcake in one bite. So, without further ado, This video is a very sus, but also funny. Videos, so, the comments are super important. Me, I don't know how you guys are gonna react. Video idea is coming from one of you guys in the comment section. The idea that was put in the comment section was eating literal foods for 24 hours, and that came from EML Gaming, or as like I like to call them, because we're friends. E Ethan Martin Martin Luther Gaming. He's actually Martin Luther King's nephew. I searched that idea into the search bar and um, saw that no one else what? has done it, so what? I do what I always do when I come across a unique idea for one of you guys. I screenshot it and I delete the comment so that no one else can see it, and it's mine. <laughs> I got it, not you, not for you, mine. I decided to make use of the uh, $100 Mickey cookie jar that I got in a past video. What I did is I filled his head with a bunch of pieces of paper, and each of these pieces of paper has a So, oh man. It is 
is it breakfast? If this light was not on my face, literal peanut butter. So actual peanuts and butter. Well, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> I can only think because this is like, this. so this is iced tea and lemonade. So I would get ice. How would I make tea? And then the tea, which comes in those little baggies. Lemon. How would you get aid? I don't know. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's going to be, um, yeah. Um, and here Moving we on. have some peanuts and some butter. And we're gonna we're gonna make some peanut butter. Okay. So right now I am starving. As you guys know, like I said in my last video for 2020, I really want to make it a thing where I eat breakfast every single now. day, and I'm getting healthy stuff into my body as I'm holding a literal stick of butter that I'm about to eat. Now we need the That's peanut part. So what I'm butter. gonna do is I'm going to stick peanuts into the butter and make some peanut peanut butter. to judge me when I say this, but I feel like this looks really, looks really good. I mean, my hands don't feel, my hands feel like I just finger banged the Pillsbury Doughboy, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but for breakfast, we have to eat literal <laughs> peanut butter, and if anything is going to embody peanut butter, it is definitely this. Let's start today, and let's start this challenge. Okay, here we go. Holy good God. I thought trying to get that muffin down was a hard to shove that entire Holy sh look at that! That should not ever be! As you're chewing it. But but I need But I am so hungry. Okay, I'm gonna take another bite. Here we go. As you're chewing it, the butter like melts in your mouth and it just becomes this pool of fatty butter with chunk like this is the worst possible combination because it's like <laughs> holy crap my left arm is hurting doesn't that isn't that a sign of a heart attack you don't even get to enjoy the good part of peanut butter because it's so crunchy and, and I'm sorry guys that's my alarm okay this is a very serious note i say a lot of things on this channel like if you pour the milk first you're a psychopath if you don't eat fries with any sauce you can't be trusted if you like I'm sorry guys, there's, let's see, that, that right there, I guess I can't be trusted because I eat, let me know what you guys, when you eat McDonald's, because I eat McDonald's, I'm sure some of you do too, and I, I talk about losing weight, but I eat McDonald's, <sighs> anyways, anyhow, when you eat McDonald's, do you eat Sauce with your fries. I eat no sauce with my fries. I just eat the regular fries. It's not that serious. I guess I can't be trusted because I don't eat sauce with my McDonald's fries. I don't eat sauce with any fries, to be honest. Huh. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I do not eat sauce with any of my fries. I eat sauce with like shrimp or you know ribs or chicken. Well, not like on the bone, but I mean like you know bone like chicken tenders. I eat sauce with that, but I don't eat sauce with. Oh wow! Now that I think about it, I don't do that. I guess I can't be trusted, but I can because I am a very trustworthy person. Trust me. See, you want to see what I did there? Trust Willie Person, but trust me. See what I did there? See what I did there? Let's carry on. Why should you trust me? I don't know. Because there's a why. You know what? Let's just continue on. Crunchy <laughs> peanut butter? That was so cringy. Jeez. Oh, You're going to hell. Like, I could just put this down and wait for lunch, but I'm going to try to get a little bit more. Why are you eating a big stick of butter with... Okay, here we go. Yeah, that bite was a little bit harder to get down, to say the least. <laughs> 
Like, I've never more felt hungry and full at the same time. It's like when you're starving for dinner and all you want is, like, some fries, maybe some McDonald's or, like, lasagna, and your mom brings you her signature dish that she's been cooking and you've been pretending to like for your entire life, and you're, I'm, Mom, I'm, thanks, you, Mom, but I am so full, I couldn't even eat a bite! All right, right now, let's decide what our lunch is going to be. I'm going to go grab Mickey, and I'm also going to grab my phone so I can call my doctor to make sure I'm not going to die. Hey, Dr. Mike, it's Derek. I just had about 16 pounds of salad. Saturated fat. Am I? Should I call an ambulance? We have our jar full of the literal foods we have to eat. If there is anything I would want, I know one in here is boiled eggs. And boiled eggs is pretty like boiled eggs are boiled eggs. So I would not mind that at all right now. Let's see what we got. We have pop popcorn. For our lunch, we are going to be having popcorn. How? Again, I'm just. Can we just focus? Here's, okay, popcorn, there we go. All right, so popcorn. We're going to have some popcorn, maybe watch a movie. I wish it was this kind of popcorn, but that's the real one. We have to take it literally, but for po you have to have popcorn while watching a movie, a YouTube video, something. So I'm going to hop over to Netflix. Let's watch something and have our popcorn. Does watch All right, so what one do out? we want to watch? Huh. Ooh, uh, Taylor Swift has her own documentary. I'm good. I'm good on learning more about Taylor Swift. <laughs> the goop, the, the goop lab. That sounds like where you go when you want to save your stuff so that you can have babies in the future. The goop lab. Long shot. The devil next door. That's probably that's. This is a movie that my neighbors made about me. The devil next door. I am so sorry. Making a murder. <laughs> staircase. Dirty money. Speaking of dirty money. <laughs> this is me. On a daily basis, trying to find something to watch. I check Netflix and find that I've watched almost everything on Netflix. I go over to YouTube and find that I've watched everything on there as well. We got a Sidemen video. We got Mark. Oh, Mark Weens. Is there anything I like to? I'm, we're watching Mark Weens while we eat. That is what I'm gonna do, guys. This is the the, the best, most happiest. What? What the hell is going on? Good morning. Mark Hope you're having an amazing day. Happy this is taking over the television. Okay, now that we have what we're going to watch picked out, we have to get our popcorn, which, if we're going to take it literally, is going to be popcorn. I've never had this while watching a movie, but there's a first time for everything. We have our corn opened up. Now we have two options. We're either going to have Sprite and some corn, or we're going to have Coca Cola and corn. Coca Cola and corn sounds like could actually be a flavor, so let's try that first. We're gonna have to make some room to put our corn to make the popcorn, so let's pour out some of this Coca Cola. Take our corn and let's start getting it into the. I probably should have got a funnel. Uh, there's corn everywhere, all over my legs. Oh my gosh, there's corn all over my bed. This sounds like the start of a very weird corn. Ooh, it's nice too, because there's like some corn juice getting in. Oh my god, some of the corn is sinking. Some of the corn is floating. This is like a magic trick. There's just corn falling all over me right now. There's more corn on my legs than there is in the actual popcorn. So here we have our first popcorn, the Coca-Cola literal popcorn. If the peanut butter didn't give me a heart attack, this definitely will. Okay, here we go. Disgusting. Because I can Sprite only imagine, like a and I don't want to do that. that kind of works with the corn. My luck has just been so bad for 2020. Both of the things so far in this video have gone wrong. I haven't gotten coffee in like a single video, and the second I buy a ticket to Japan, the if you don't know, Gerard, you love coffee. Like, ah, you've 
wanted to make your audience happy by you going to Japan, Derek? No. So many bad things happen in January. My luck has been so bad lately. If you guys want good... Okay, let's give the D-Squad good luck for the rest of 2020. Kick that like button down below. If this you video can too. get... What's a lucky... Seven, to 77,000 likes. Okay, seven's a lucky number. Let's do that. Let's all get good luck. I want to go to Japan. I want to film for you guys. And right now, what I have to do, it doesn't matter what I want, is I have to grab my popcorn... I have to enjoy the rest of my movie. I will see you guys for our snack. I'm gonna lay down, I'm gonna watch, and I'm gonna drink or eat or whatever the hell this is. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so lunch is I'm sorry guys, I did not check the video for ads, so <laughs> no 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 Okay, guys, I don't mean to burst anybody's bubble because, you know, or not burst any bubbles, make any controversy, but to be honest, I would not let a dog lick my, my mouth or my teeth. It, it just, I don't know what they've eaten outside or what they eat. Um, I know they eat dog food and drink water or whatever, but I just wouldn't do that. That's really disgusting. Yeah, my dog has done that a couple times, and I just push him away because I don't want him touching my mouth with his tongue. That's just really gross. Um, I can understand, like, your hand or your your foot or something, but even then, even your foot, that's, that's kind of even weirder. But maybe your hand. Okay, I can understand your hand. I can understand your hand, but not your mouth. I, that, 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 uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's a lot of brushing your teeth, a lot of disinfecting it. Yeah, I wouldn't do that, but that's just me. You let me know if you do that to your let your dog lick your mouth or whatever. It's even weirder to say. I I apologize. Let, let's continue on. That that's that's weird to me. That's weird to me. His videos are very funny. I thought to change up what we do. You guys let me know if you like watching Derek Gerard. We might I might double upload today though. I might double upload today. I'm Mickey right here. I'm going to reach my hand and I'm going to shuffle these around a little bit and I'm going to try and grab two. Okay, got one. Let's find one more in here. Okay, dropped my first one. That's great. Okay, we have we have one. I'm going to grab another one. Yeah, okay. So, we have two right here. Today, I'm going to take one of the ones that I found and put it right there. Stay, bud. Stay. And I'm going to take the other one that I found and I'm going to put it right there. And now, Herc. Okay, go. Go get one. Go get one, buddy. You can do it. Come here. Come here. Okay, we're still working on the next part of the trick. Okay, bud, which one? I'm going to take these. He's still sitting. I'm going to put them to a stay. Stay. I'm going to put them both right there. Let's see. Maybe not. We'll go for one. Okay, bud. Which one? Oh, okay. We have it. Oh, don't eat it. No, 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 don't eat it. Okay, okay, okay. It's this one right here. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, thank you, bud. So this is the one that Herc picked. Let's open this up right here and it applesauce Herc decided for my snack that i should have applesauce before dinner you know what mickey is i'm gonna grab one no don't switch it yet i'm gonna grab one more i'm gonna grab one more and i'm gonna grab ice coffee it says well, focus 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 ice coffee yeah. <laughs> okay okay we have in this bag what looks to be the, the apples and here we have the most glor you can you know coffee is the best thing in the world because it's literally just what it is. I mean, let's just look at it. We have ice and coffee. Iced coffee is ice and coffee put together, and you have just a glorious beverage to get you through the day, even if it, the video is over halfway done. It's ice iced and coffee is going to help me with the rest of this video. Ice coffee, literally ice and coffee. We have the coffee that I picked, but the thing that Herc picked out was oh. applesauce, and I believe that's what is in here. The first thing we have on the top are apples, and then we have the, su the sauce. We have, 
We have literally just sauce. You guys want? You guys want some? Some apple sauce, so we're gonna be taking one of our pieces of apple and we're gonna be trying it with various sauces because that's what apple apple sauce. Let's just reach into our grab bag here and we pull out our first sauce, which is sweet and sour sauce from AW, which I don't think will be I don't think this will be too bad. Take our apple, let's dip it in our sauce, and we have here apple sauce. I definitely thought that was gonna be better than it <coughs> better than it was. These do not mix well. So, and I had really high hopes. This is the only sauce that I can think of that my, I just looked in the bag. There's a packet of damn soy sauce in there. Reach in here, grab something else. What is this? Okay, we have peri peri sauce from Nando. Now, the sweet and sour sauce wasn't good. Okay, you know what? High hopes. Had to have high, high hopes for a living. Couldn't have a thing when I could have had a kitchen. Let's quickly cleanse our palate with a nice sip of coffee. Let's get our peri peri sauce onto the apple. <laughs> Nando's, I might have a new item ready for you right now. Let's see if it's good. Uh, believe it or not, this is actually not that bad. It's a lot better than the sweet and sour sauce. You're just left with the taste of Nando sauce in your mouth. The apple mixes with the spiciness actually quite well. I'm actually gonna finish this one. Okay, we're reaching back into our bag of sauces. This one is a packet, and it is... Huh? Honey! This... Okay. Oh my god, this is gonna be so delicious. Just a nice slice of apple coated in honey. Here we go. Well, I think the honey was so good on that apple that it filled up the space on my camera. We are now on the iPhone. It's okay, we only have a couple more sauces left here anyway. Um, let's continue eating. That was freaking delicious. Maybe just have one or two more apples before our dinner. Let's reach into the sauce bag here and we have picked out soy sauce. We're gonna take our apple slice. We are going to drip soy sauce. We're just gonna imagine this is a nice piece of yam tempura mind over matter i would stall a little bit more but there is currently soy sauce dripping all over my car here we go <gasps> oh, i am very surprised to say that the apple just completely overpowers the soy sauce it just adds like a nice little hint of salt but besides that it's freaking good i'm gonna grab one last sauce out of the sauce bag let's cleanse the palate and our last. <laughs> I didn't even know they packaged mayonnaise. Like, who yeah, does that? Okay, let's do. get something they straight. Is mayonnaise do. even a sauce? I, I don't even know if I consider mayonnaise. <laughs> Derek, it's whipping cream. You have nice a nice thing of whipping cream on top of your apple. Mind over matter. This one feels good. This is what's gonna be for our dinner. What are we literally going to be having? Moz mozzarella sticks. Okay. Li Actually, I I do know someone who was super mad at me for not including him in my video where I made those deep fried mozzarella sticks. So maybe maybe he'll like to join me for for this video. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Okay, so if you guys don't know who Jazz Paul is, is Derek's friend. If you don't follow Derek Gerard, um, to be honest, guys, I would finish the video, but it's gone on long enough. Um, um, he's funny, as you saw. I made a couple. I, I laughed a couple times. I didn't laugh too much. Um, only laugh if it's funny. I think that's anybody. Um, if you laugh at everything. I, who am I to judge? I have everything, everything wrong going on with me, so I can't say anything. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, I don't have, I don't have a hairline, so you know I, I guess I, I can't really say anything. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoy that. Let me know what you thought in the down in the description down below. Let me know if you eat apples on uh, with anything, or you know you let your dog lick your mouth. Pause. Um, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy that for the second time now um i'll probably dub, double upload today more than likely i just have to find out what else we're gonna react to um but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one
Peace.